Now let's look at a rectangle and think about the perimeter of a rectangle. In this case, let's start here and go this way. The perimeter is going to be 11 plus 7 plus 11 plus 7, and that's in inches. If you wanted to, you could write the inches on each of those numbers, 11 inches plus 7 inches. But they do need to be in the same unit to add them up. They need to be the same thing. In this case, they're all inches. Well, 11 plus 7 plus 11 plus 7, that adds up to 36 inches, and that's our answer. But you'll note that every rectangle has four sides, and two of the sides we typically call the width, and two we call the length. Or you might call them height and length or something like that, but you have names. Two of the sides go by one name, and two of the sides go by the other name. So instead of referring to a specific rectangle, like we have here, we could refer to a general rectangle. And by general rectangle, I mean something like this. Here we have a rectangle. It has a length, which I call length. And it has a width, which I call width. I don't necessarily have numbers there. This could be any rectangle, not just this particular one drawn. That's why we call it a general rectangle. It's not a specific 11 by 7. It's a general rectangle. Whatever its actual length and width are, we know that the perimeter will be a length plus a width plus a length plus a width. That's always going to be the case. So we can write that. We could write the perimeter is going to equal the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. And that will always be true for any rectangle. And this is usually written with a shorter and more convenient notation. Instead of writing perimeter, we can just use the letter P. And that's a variable. We use P to stand for perimeter. And instead of length, we can write L. And instead of width, we can write W. So we can say P equals L plus W plus L plus W. That's just a more compact way of writing this. They mean exactly the same thing. And this is an example of a formula. So you can write this in in your notes. This is an example of a formula. And the letters P, L, and W are what we call variables. If we know the value of the variables, if we knew the value of W and L, we could put in the number for L in, in those places and put in the number for W in those places and then do the addition and find P. And in general, that's what a formula allows us to do. It allows us to give us a, a compact and very general way of stating something. In this case, this formula states that the perimeter of a rectangle, and this works for any rectangle, is the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. And we can use that formula to find the, the perimeter of a rectangle, of any rectangle. And now we'll look at some examples that we can solve using that formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. In this first one, we're told a rectangle has a width of 6 yards and a length of 20 yards. What is the perimeter? Sometimes it help, helps to draw a picture. It's not necessary in this case, but just so we can see what's going on, we draw a little rectangle. Width of 6 and a length of 20. I know the perimeter is going to be L plus W plus L plus W and the length is 20 and the width is 6 and the length again is 20 and the width again is 6 and 20 I can see 26 plus 26 adds up to 52 and note my unit both of those are in yards 52 yards in this next example a field is 160 feet by 220 feet. You want to build a fence around the field. What is the total length of fence that you need to enclose the field? Well, if you have a field has a width of 160, and that's feet, and it has a length of 220 feet, if you want to build a fence all the way around, the length of your fence is just going to be the perimeter of the field. So what we need to find, when we're asked to find the total length of fence, what we really need to find is the perimeter of the field. And it's going to be length plus width 
plus length plus width, or 220 plus 160 plus 220 plus 160. And those are all in feet. And when you add those up, you get 760 feet.